Guys, this is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today, we're diving back into the A to Z. We're playing some Ganesh support. Ganesh is a god that doesn't have a ton of upfront initiative CC like you tend to have on a lot of guardians, which can make him a little tricky when it comes to trying to remotely carry or or even just lead games normally. Yeah, we don't get the god bounce, and without that god bounce, life is rough. Yeah, green buff actually has a crazy amount of healing. I honestly think it's kind of cool, but it's also really annoying. <laughs> it's actually really annoying how much that buff heals itself. Whenever you have, whenever you're, you have any sort of scuffed clear like that. Because every once in a while you get one of those gods that's just not good at killing it right away. And then you have such a bad time, you get to lean pretty late. But we're not too late here. It's not too bad. They're even later. So yeah, we don't have a ton of initiative CC. The best one's going to tend to be the three. Let's see if we can block it all here. Just do a little bit of bully and that's fine. Um, you don't have a ton of initiative CC other than the three. The three is very single target. It's also fairly easy to miss because it's kind of uh, not super fast ability to cast to begin with. And then with that, that skinny hitbox, it can be a little bit tricky. So it's an ability that if you scuff, you definitely feel it a lot. It's an ability that you don't want to be scuffing. Really want to be bullying the Jingwei here, but she's playing so far back, it's going to be hard. Yeah, we'll do a little bit to the Kepri. I want to keep blocking his dash pathing. But I also don't want to get pulled into tower. Yeah, this is what the hell? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Does this man have tech or is he cheating? Pick one. Okay, I guess there's bugs. I guess there's bugs. There's tech, there's hacks, and there's bugs. And he is a bug, to be fair. Boom! Murder. Murder. Oh, we're getting ganked. I've trolled. I'm sorry. Wait, we're getting a gank. I've also trolled. Oh! Just got it. Oh, we just get it. Oh, we just get it. No, please. I want to get in the way. I can't. She knocked me out. Please. No, dude. The AOE, man. That sucks. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Where's my boy? Oh, reach anybody. We reach nobody. I have two'd. Oh, we're smacking him down. All right. Get them body blocks in there. Get them body blocks in there. Nice. Overall, really good fight. We three for one. It does kind of suck. I wanted a little bit better of a body block on the, the Jingwei when we got one there, but I don't think there's too much more I gotta do. Get up in her face, get knocked behind her. Kind of tough to do too much more than that. Nice, overall really good fight. Started off pretty well. I did a terrible job looking at the map. I got too distracted talking about stuff. Was not focused at all, so we got ganked, and then we got a gank, and I was paying attention for neither. But that's what the A does he does to your head, man. I got I got a checklist of stuff I'm trying to get through. And, <laughs> and meanwhile, other things happen than just simply playing lane. There's a little more to smite than that. That's okay, though. It all went well. I think we played that fight well, too. I think we played the initiation well, played the peel about as well as we really could. Like, it got a little bit clunked, but that's okay. What? We need to hit those! <laughs> Missed the auto. It would so sad if they got that. <laughs> if they just, like, let, let get a little Kepri 3 or something on it. Or even worse, the rare Kepri tick last hit. That one hits hard. Don't think we can invade purple. They should be doing it themselves right now. And they can, of course, just pull it absurdly far. Going to back for Thebes in a second here. So let's talk about Ganesh Kid a little bit. We'll start with the passive. Ganesh passive, I think, is bad. I don't particularly play this god. Maybe I'm sleeping on it. I think it's basically bad. The way that it works is if anybody is remotely in range, you are going to give them the last hit instead of yourself the last hit on a minion god, whatever it may be. If you are last hitting it, if somebody's within, I think, like 80 units, um, the nearest teammate will get the credit instead, which means you don't have to worry about stealing stacks, and it makes it a little easier to... Nice, we get to instantly silence that out, probably go aggro here. Oh, I didn't quite have enough of a CC to, uh, to keep him in the ult there. It's just too bad. Yeah, and I think if we do, that's the difference. Oh, please! Wait, did I really eat another? Wait, no, I didn't. Right? No, I actually... Okay, I actually died to Jingwei. That's fine. Yeah, I thought we'd have a little more damage than that. But Kepri... Kepri was not dying so much. I mean, he eventually did, but I thought that'd be better. Should probably realistically be buying wards. It'll be fine. We will be actually buying wards soon, don't worry. Yeah, I do think... I think that was a pretty good engage. I actually overall got, like, a pretty good ult on him. I just didn't quite have quick enough follow-up to, uh... To CC him on the ult, which is what I wanted there. Which I probably should have been able to do if I played that a little bit better. But that's okay. It is kind of hard to get the ult dash combo. So, so, yeah, that passive is basically just helping split around and kill credits. Hang on, hang on. Let's see if we can get her dash here. Oh, that's her beads. That's fine. 
That's fine. We burn the beads. He gets to live. Not too much. Not too much we're doing about beads existing. Let's see if we can farm up a little here. So that should really pretty much do it for the pants. If he does also have an extended assist range, I don't know if that lets him get farm from farther range. I don't know if it extends to that. But the idea is like you're spreading assists farther than you would otherwise, essentially. But it also maybe is like you can be farther away from minions without hitting them and still get credit. I'm not sure if it works like that or not. And it's not going to tend to matter so much, even if it does. Yeah, like right here, we can try and not worry about last hitting the minions at all. Don't think there's a point in hitting him. You shall look into back anyways. That's fine. Do your thing. Do your thing. Even, even if she wasn't looking to bank, she basically has to kit dump and then like do a little bit of his health, do like <laughs> maybe half, and then she's running oob even if she has mana, and then like whatever. So, so I don't think we're looking for that anyways. So Ganesh won. She's probably gonna come to this anyways, but I'll just try and call a little something, make my life easier with the green buff. Thanks, man. Um, Ganesh won's basically his damage slash clear ability. You do up to 330, but oh my, that is a four man gank. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a little bit of a rotation, my god. Definitely not a point in counter rotating, it's just kind of done. So, yeah, yeah. It happens, man, it happens. None of us were up there, we don't know. But it's mostly our clear ability. We do get a little damage amp on the one where, um, depending on how many minions, gods, whatever we hit up to five, we give 2% bonus damage to our teammates around us in a short vicinity. I think it's like 40 units, something like that. Um, so stacking up to 10%, mostly that's going to stand out on minion wave. Of course, you're not going to tend to hit the entire enemy team, those entire five gods. There's not really a point in doing anything here. I'm just going to poke her. Where, where, where are you going? Do you not know? Be bullied. Nah, no dashing either, even though this doesn't do anything. I just wanted to strike that fear in her. See if he'll come to gold after wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the, do the wave, do the wave. But then, but then we do a little bit of that gold buff, huh? Then we do a little gold buff. And I'm not going to split the wave because I already have plenty of farm right now. I'm not going to try and sap too hard if I can possibly avoid it. Is she going to push up here at all? Looking like not. No, not really enough to do anything. Jingwei, very mobile, very safe character. She has basically a double dash and she has the ultimate and she's going to have beads and just it's hard to do much. Hi, Hunbots. What can I do for you, man? Oh, this looks good. Attack. This looks insanely good. And we get that combo. We get that ult combo. That's unfortunate. Wait, that didn't go off. Never mind. It's not unfortunate. It was actually calculated. Trying to body block the man. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Somebody hit him somehow. Little baby bit of tank. They can't. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, well, I really, I think we did everything we could there. Just unfortunately, he really did get cool down. Exact same time I did. Even got like the full shard value, I think, right? Didn't we? Didn't we get shard popped like the moment my dash was down? So we really did get the entire three seconds. That's too bad. Still a good fight, though. They got real aggro up in mid. We get to punish him for it. I'd love to see it. Been a part of every kill so far, too. So I think we're pretty much good on the one. Not a whole lot to it. It's really not overall a very good ability. It's just kind of an ability that Ganesh needs to have to, to play the game. It's just, you know, most gods need some sort of clear. Ganesh's clears his one. Otherwise, it'd be his dash. That would suck. Nice. We just got Thieb stacked. All right. Should we do a little, little green, perhaps? Oh, Loki's doing some green. Let me get that farm, king. Let me get that farm. Okay, we got a little bit of the farm. That's fine. I do already have a decent amount, too. Been doing a pretty good job of staying caught up so far this game. So the... Oh, I'm coming! Gonna dash over to get there quicker. Try and get that ult for peel. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of boys here. Yeah, can I... Okay, he's just gonna dash on out. Didn't expect that, honestly. Thought he'd try and make it happen. Damn, I should have silenced Jingwei there. I wasn't paying enough attention for that. I should have silenced her so she doesn't get a dash. We don't get a killer off of it, but it does let Skipper do a lot right there. Trying to mostly just kind of pressure right now. Let's see if this... That's fine. I wanted to see if we could catch her right there, set up for an E-Shell combo if we silence her dash. But it's okay. We do get the pressure out of it. Yeah, a lot of the time on somebody like Ganesh, we're going to be looking for just kind of... I mean, this is also just true for support. I'm going to use the word pressure a lot, probably. It's just kind of having that impact, that, like, the potential to do things, right? That we're forcing them to make good plays, to not be murdered, and stuff like that. I think I'll actually tag this. 
So Ganesh 2. Ganesh 2 is a almost two second channeled silence that is knockback immunity, knockup immunity, and it shares prots and a, I think, 40-ish unit aura around you. You can see it right here. So the cone is the silence in the middle, and then that same distance, but in a full circle around us, we're also giving protections. That protections gets leveled as we level the ability up. I am going to level the three for the damage. Um, the only thing for the two to level is going to be those prots that we're sharing. Ooh. She doesn't know. This actually might get really, really good. That's her combo, too. I think we're sticking here. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, she dashes through the dash there. Unfortunate. If I catch her dash, or if we catch her before she dashes, she gets farmed right there. So close. That sucks. If I had that on Instacast, I think I cast her dash too. Takes me some getting used to me, and I put this on normal cast. I barely use normal cast, so I was probably a little bit slower with it than I should have been. That's okay. We're just looking for those opportunities, though. I do need it back soon. I got a billion money to spend. But we've had so many opportunities to do things lately that I kind of don't want to bet because I don't want to miss out on the opportunities. Oh, I'm coming. We got that horrific to peel a little bit as well. Not going to dash in this time. Try and silence them off. Oh, that's not who I wanted. I wanted to be CCing the Kepri off so he never gets the chance to dash. Yeah, it looks like that's enough. Oh, good Loki ult. We just don't have the damage to kill. That was actually, that was really clean. Chasing down the jump there. That was really solid. See, I think we're that makes sense, right? I explained the silence. Simple enough. Ganesh Kit's really not all that complicated. Nice, we get that. I don't really want the gold buff, but I'm rooted on it. <laughs> I could have dashed away, I guess. I don't think it matters enough to dash away. And right there, we're not taking last it, so it's fine to dash on through. All right, I have a lot of money to spend. What shall we spend it on this game? I'm going to build a little weird. Don't hate me, boys. Don't hate me. We're going to build a little weird. Yeah, I've been finding, since we're playing support and casuals especially, it does feel like cooldown reduction feels a little extra impactful so that we can do things more often. I don't think Ganesh is a god where Kronos Pendant feels particularly valuable because he's a god that doesn't get a lot of, um, like, he's one of the least valuable gods in the game to build power on. So we're just going to go straight up Breastplate over Kronos Pendant. Um, if you guys follow SPL meta at all, it's actually fairly normal to build Kronos Pendant on support, even over Breastplate is being just an extreme cooldown option. Oh, uh, it should be good. I think she's slowed enough. Maybe not with that. Never mind, he's got ult again. There we go. Nice. Try and body block him in. Oh, I don't have the two in time. If I can ever catch him, we can two a bit. Uh, I don't get a two. Oh, and there's that knockback immune. And then she just did it again. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Oh? Perhaps? Damn. Do a little follow-up CC as that wears off. There we go. Get a little word on that. And these fights have been pretty clean so far. Been a part of every kill still. I don't know how that's happening. Actually, I kind of do know how that's happening. We're just... <laughs> normally, normally the fights are happening where a lot of the time I'm not even initiating necessarily. Sometimes I am. But a lot of time we're counter-rotating on them and then making something happen here. So yeah, I think the two should make sense. We can move on to the three. The three very single target dash. It'll go through minions and do instant damage. It will stop on the first god hit. It'll only CC one god. And to the god, it does tick damage. The way the CC works is it's technically a grab into a knockup. So basically that means knockup immune abilities will be um, pretty much stopped by the grab and then they'll be knocked up after that. I think it's the entire reason they coded it that way. Is that that way you're not getting punished by like Thor 3. Uh, I guess in this game, Hunbots too. I'm trying to think if they have any other knockup immunes. Odin 3 should be knockup immune. Yeah, stuff like that. So we'll still break through it. Skipper in a lot of trouble. I don't know if we could help. There's four people and we're very far this time. Is there five? No, there's four. Yeah, that's true. That's a good call. Actually, I'm going to lurk here. That is a good pyro call. We'll see if we get to do anything here. The monkey's very aware that I'm here. I definitely don't have the best uh, steel potential and I might just die, but I think it's worth a shot. Damn. Gave it a shot. How did I get, hmm. How did I get rooted by that? I feel like I just didn't, right? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that just actually shouldn't have. Oh, did I not hit? I don't think I hit Hunbots with the, uh, with the horrific there. Wait, we actually maybe get a kill here. Hang on. I got a peel, though. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I want to get in the way if I can. 
Oh, the body block was clean. Oh, it was dirty. And we get to cut her off. Nice. That was that was a little filthy on the body block. Oh my goodness, man. All right, wards. Oh, the hell? Did I do that? My <laughs> what happened? What happened to my camera there? I don't know how I did that. That was weird. It felt like uh, God. It's been so long since I played console. What do you call it on on controller when you're when you're like joystick? It just gets a little bit stuck and it kind of like like is it ghosting something like that? Felt like my mouse ghosted there. I don't know what that was. So, so yeah, we have that for our three. Um, pretty solid CC when we're landing at decent amount of CC time. Not the easiest to land so far. This game's been pretty clean. Uh, oh, wait, did I get it? Do I just do no damage? I think I did get it. I think that was filthy. And I just simply do no damage. I don't know if this will reach. Doesn't matter. Nice. Well played, man. Still a part of every kill. I've done too many Ganesh games and I'm now filthy. <laughs> I have simply played him too much. Attempting to get a good game. I've gotten too clean with it. What? Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. You know, I got it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, we got to hit him with it. Wait, I thought I upgraded that center already. Whoops. I thought I got the tier two in there. I think I had money to get the tier two. <laughs> I think I'm going to trigger the hell out of him with that, man. Oh my goodness. So the final thing to talk about is the ultimate. Ganesh ult's the most complicated one to actually explain. So I'm probably going to distract myself from the map for like a minute or so while I get through it. But the main thing you're doing, we have these pillars that are actual walls similar to like on her pillar in the corners. Don't think we're going to do a lot here. We don't have boys around. Why did you have to take my green buff? Why did you have to do this? Loki's looking for it. I don't think we're going to do a lot. If I ult, we're getting Jingwei ult, which I don't think is worth. Uh, Maybe do a little right here. That's fine. We got our ult. I was thinking we might be able to catch her before the ult and get more pressure. Oh, that's too bad. That's unfortunate, man. Try and do a little peel in here if we can. That sucks. Oh! Uh, Oh, the body block's filthy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the stuff's delayed enough. The Sunder and the Dash both that I don't think they were actually bad to cast, but by the time they go off, they're a little bad. Might get a peel here. I guess not really peel. We might get a CC enough here. Nice. I guess we'll go this way. Do a little ward just in case. Yeah, safety first. Safety first. Can we get a little extra farm? Get my starter upgrade soon. Um, so yeah, we have those, those walls that slow, prot shred, and do damage, and then we have the pillars that actually are real walls. Um, trying to think, that's really all there is to it, so we can just kind of dive into the numbers a little bit, because the numbers do matter with this. It's potentially very bad without the numbers being good enough, you know? So, initial hit, we do this damage, and then on bonus follow-up hits, we do half of this damage. I believe I'm right on that, I could be tripping. Um... It'll tick. I don't remember how often it ticks. I don't think it actually says how often it ticks. I'm assuming it's something like every half second, third second, something like that. Um, I might actually ult this just so that we burn it a little faster. We have a pretty low cooldown on it, especially with what we're building. Scoop that up. Go back for starter upgrade. Uh, so yeah, we do this much damage. I don't know what the scaling is. We don't care what the scaling is. Building power on Ganesh isn't very good. Um... And then we have 35% slow, which is a big slow. The slow, I think, lasts three seconds. Am I right? Uh, yeah, it just says general debuff duration, so I'm just going to assume it also lasts three seconds. And then prot reduction, which is huge. This is a lot of prot reduction, especially as you're leveling it. So it's starting at 15, which isn't crazy. It's fine. It's getting up to 55, and that's both protections, which is disgusting. Uh, it is prot reduction. It's not stealing the prots, by the way, but it's making your team do more damage. And 55 prot shred, that's 55 pen, man. You can't build close to that much pen. It doesn't let you. I mean, you can through percent pen, but not through flat pen. So, yeah, pretty gross. Okay, we don't have boys around remotely. This one I probably do just have to give up. I mean, uh, he's kind of letting me stick around. Where that monkey at? Is he just under? Is he just under me, man? I gave it a shot. That's fine. That's fine. It does look like a shell wants to. Oh! Please, please. 
Uh oh, she's in trouble here, I think. Big Sunder? Yeah, I think she's gonna be dead here. Wait, I need the green! I need the green! I can't get the green. Sorry, I was too amused by getting the green buff there. I should have peeled more. Stop. Might have to get to bombing in a sec, you feel me? Please! Oh, it's good! What? Can you not dash out of my stupid counters, man? <laughs> I think it's the first time. What am I doing? We're dipping, we're dipping. What? Oh, that works too! I meant, I meant falling. Oop, okay. We do a little bombing? Nah! He didn't even care. Okay. I thought he'd go on me there. Actually, just got ult back up. Do we get to do anything with it? Nah. No, we don't. Nice, another good fight! It, uh, it did get a little... <laughs> honestly, Ishelle somehow stalled absurdly hard, and I thought she was dead, so I thought I'd troll a little bit and go for green last hit. So I... <laughs> Because I thought it'd be funny to get the green and I actually we maybe could have done a lot if I didn't do that because we do have enough cooldown that stuff was coming up. I don't know for sure, but I probably did troll her a bit. But anyways, I think that really just basically sums up the kit. Um, Ganesh, a lot of time we are using this to try and wall people in. This game has been a really good game where I'm able to get angles where we can actually try and hold people on it. It's very hard to do normally, but we want it. The, the kind of ideal dream angle is around this corner. Um, hitting them with this little part, this wall here, and then them getting slowed by that, and then moving kind of to this wall here where you're kind of clipping both. So you can get multiple ticks that way, and then you can kind of lock them on the wall and have that wall as a little baby barrier. Been tending to aim for that a lot this game. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I needed to get that off sooner, my bad. I didn't, I thought he was going to be CC'd a little longer there. There we go. Uh, we don't get to do FG, I don't think. We don't have Huyi. It is tempting, and there's nothing else to do here, so we probably just, like, push mid or something. We'll zoom on over if we can. But yeah, a lot of the time, that's kind of, like, the dream angle, uh, but it does vary a lot. It's very, very much based on context, how to use this ultimate. Sometimes you want to be trying to aim the, the wall slow very much. Sometimes you just want to generally, like, aim it for the middle and just keep them in it so that they don't want to go through those walls. They might get too punished by it if they do, so that's just plenty. That way you're not missing or anything. Um, yeah, varies a lot, man. Varies a lot. Other than that, I feel like the get makes a lot, like, it's just kind of basic, right? You actually maybe to do things here. There we go. We get that horrific honor. Yeah, there I just went for straight up, like, general CC or whatever, right? Oh, we're, we're within. I've trolled a bit. I've trolled a lot. That actually might get around. I don't know. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Oh, and we still give it to her. Nice. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at that Ganesh passive go. I didn't think she'd be close enough. She might have been pretty close, though. I wasn't paying a lot of attention. Don't think we're going to do anything here, but I should be fine. Oh, yeah, by the way, I I, I think I brought this up, but I might have gotten distracted and not. Ganesh dash can go through player-made walls. I might have gotten distracted off that. Somebody might have typed out a comment if I didn't say it and been like, Oh, man, I forgot about this. It's important. Uh, which it can be important. Sometimes it's not at all, but this game, it definitely can be with that Odin ult. We can just dash on out. So we can't generally dash through walls, but we can definitely dash through Ymir wall, Thor wall, Odin wall, all those sort of things. Um, it'll just go straight through it, acting like it doesn't exist, which is a pretty cool mechanic. In fact, I think I even brought up, he has this cool mechanic on his three, and then I think I got distracted. <laughs> I think, like I said something like that, and then that was it. We don't really get follow up if we dash him there. I could be wrong, but I think we really left it at that. All right, let me probably rotate over to gold. I was over here on the solo side looking for a little pressure around FG, but gold's back up, so I'm kind of trolling by being over here. Could buy Heartward in a sec, we go back. We'll get that OP glyph as well. If anybody's down, we can just do this real quick. Skipper might be enough. These shells going back to base. Hello! Actually, might get to kill this guy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, we, no, we don't. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, he beats us out. That's too bad. That's fine, though. Hunbots holds down. Hunbots doesn't get a murder. I think I think that's okay. It's too bad. I didn't think there were boys over here. Speaking of boys, my god, man. No, no three in me. So if he ults me, we're holding dash ideally here. But we got to peel Jingwei instead. So I'm probably dying. Nah. 
Okay, I've been autoed. <laughs> I have been simply autoed down. That sucks. Yeah, I think I think like I can save myself if I dash out, but I troll way too hard. Damn, she actually does have a billion crit right now. All right, I'll get it. Yeah, I did not. I did not look for the crit build. My bad. Too distracted, man. Too distracted by A to C things. It's also just way deeper in the game than I was realizing, because I'm support. I got no farm on support. So she's way deeper into that build than I was thinking she was. Do I just sell this entry here? How fast do we have to get out of base? Surely they just get... Okay. Wait, I didn't need to do... Oh, no. Oh, I've trolled. Oh, I've trolled. Where is it? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me, man. My God. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I thought Spectral was 50 gold more than it was there. We actually had the money, right? I think, I think. I'm coming, boys. I'm sorry. Oh, they're not even on gold. It's fine. Doesn't even matter. Okay, if they just turn and do this, it's just it's just free gold. But instead, we're getting very distracted here and giving them time to get in. All right. I don't know about all this, man. I don't know why we're hunting the kills so hard. Uh oh. I'm trying to do what I can to peel here. This guy should just die? Oh, that sucks. I was hoping they... I don't know why they didn't, honestly. I was hoping they would have the, um, the damage to kill him and not let him ult. Oh, and I just get the two. Looks like she's dying. Oh! Wait, did she die? I don't know if I missed that or she died. Maybe she just died. Alright, we should be fine here. Okay, now can we do gold? <laughs> Instead of just hunting kills as hard as possible? My god, man. I think if they were down, we could have started it up so easily and just done it. But, but it like kind of worked out, I don't know. It was an okay fight. It really ends up overall being the same result though. I don't know why he wants to tank it so bad. Okay, we'll do a little of this. There we go. Don't think we're getting a kill. Damn, I even body blocked him a little there. I didn't think that would work. That was kind of sick. I just like shoulder checked him. <laughs> Built like a lineman. All right, we should try and make sure they don't get free pyro here as they're spawning and stuff. I actually might get punished pretty hard here. We'll have to see. I think we're going to century this and then just sit on FG. Well, probably not right on FG, but kind of lurk around FG. It's looking like we're good Jingwei banking. God, we actually maybe could do big FG. Honestly, with the Jingwei back. She actually has a Jingwei passive, though, so maybe it doesn't matter all that much. Science? Nice. Science. I wasn't sure if that worked or not. Get to bombing. Yeah, I think we dip here. Arthur, no, dude. That was a bold pull right there. Uh, I think this one? It's kind of hard to tell, man. Basically, this one farms Jingwei is the idea. Uh, the others should be better in general. Normally, this is like, how, how much damage are they actually doing? This can be really unreliable, whereas the Tremble one's more reliable. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's not. Oh, he doesn't get a jump, but it doesn't matter. That's too bad. They are getting dumpstered by Odin, really? I didn't think I had to go on that man. He's just, he's Odin. I thought we'd focus on the rest. Yeah, we can't be eating this here. We cannot be eating this. I don't have stuff yet. This might do enough. Nice, got the dash. Yeah, we're gonna be dying. That sucks. I, don't, I honestly, I actually don't know how they're dying back there. I don't know how they're getting clapped by the uh, the Odin. That's too bad. I feel like that should be absurdly easy, right? Right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. There's an Odin behind us. I know, but like, I, I thought the 2v1 was plenty. It's just Odin. 
I really like I thought not only like did I thought think he wouldn't be a problem I thought they'd just kill him because we we had everybody else zoned he was just isolated that's too bad yeah I very much thought we could uh what why did it show like 650 XP there what was that yeah I thought we could specifically go on the rest of the team with the boys have a good fight and then Odin gets punished and then it was like the exact opposite all right, I need some magic defense. Kind of bad, I think. I mean, I did want to be getting it in um in place of Spectral, and then we ended up needing the Spectral for Jingwei. Yeah, this might end up being a tricky game. Odin's getting a lot of value. Hunbots is getting a lot of value. Jingwei's getting a lot of value. We can't possibly do something about everybody here. It's just simply not going to happen. Not remotely going to happen. All right, I think we'll grab maybe another ward. We good. I just want to be there to peel for him just in case. Do we really lose this game? I feel like I've absolutely slammed on Kinesh this game. Okay, can you not? Yeah, this isn't it. <laughs> the spinning of their entire 5-man FG team is not it. <laughs> no matter what po- Bro. I gotta zone him off because of that, because he's about to get clapped. Thought that'd be a better silence there. That sucks. It's going so deep, man. Yep, there goes that. He's going so aggressive with Arthur, like he just gets to spin on their team, and, and you don't. You don't get to spin on their team like that. Hopefully we did do something to the Nox right here. Nice. Oh, she didn't dash. What? This should be her ult. There we go. Yeah, horrific for Xingwei ult should be fine. Do get ult in the sec here. That's why he doesn't get to do this. If he gets a bad jump, we probably get a... Oh, that'll, that'll hit her. We don't have boys close enough, though. Oh, he's skipping a bit. Damn. Tried to do what we could there. Only person I could reach was Odin, so I tried to get some setup on him. But that's okay. We get a little bit of a cleanup on them while they've got the FG. They do get the one Phoenix, which is unfortunate, and Bots gets a split push, which mostly came down to we're too distracted trying to keep Arthur alive. So I don't think we're really in a spot where everybody could afford to split off. But overall, not terrible. Even though it wasn't an EFG. Normally, ideally, at least with current smite, it's probably going to change a lot really soon. With current smite, you really want to um, be keeping those phoenixes alive if it's not an EFG. EFG is normally enough to do it, but it's actually kind of tough to do it without that, that enhanced fire giant. All right, we're going to go back for Heartward Glyph in a sec. I also want to get wards if I can. Let's see if I can peel for him here. Doing some big peels. Oh, I'm so silenced. That sucks. I was going to dash Odin right there in the Hui ult. Okay, I think we have time to do this. Because we got to try and get some vision on this. Sucks. I really don't want to be committing stuff to that fight like that. Like, we dropped a Sunder, we dropped Terrific, we dropped the ultimate. And, uh, there's, there's pretty much no way it's good. It's pretty much, pretty much entirely there to just try and peel for him. I'm on it. No, no, no. Stop hitting it. Don't have ult quite yet. Okay, we get the peel for him. He gets to live. Big Sunder. It's not really setting up for a fight right now or anything. It's just a big Sunder. Okay, that guy just ended. Nice. That was a really big end right there. Yeah, they can pull FG and I can try and zone a bit here. Gonna look for an ult here in a sec. Well, we got deep in there. Let's see if we can get a big silence. Maybe? Looks like it. it. Looks like that's enough. I wanna get my horrific off here. Oh, they're not able to go in. That's too bad. Damn, I was really hoping we could do a little bit with that horrific, because they were so gonna be clapped under tower. But they just they don't have the stuff for it, that's fine. What is happening with my Sunders? 
Did I? It's on. So my my normal relic casting is set to quick cast or whatever, where it just kind of automatically works that way. Damn, I wanted to get into tower there. Um, it like stuck there. I don't know if my key actually somehow got stuck. That was funky. We gotta do the tower first. We good? Looks like we're good. We can open the door, so I'm not getting clapped. Oh, oh! Damn, I was hoping there'd be more. That was actually a fat silence. The the silence e shell combo. If we got abilities on that, they'd actually get one shot. I potentially get farmed by Odin ult there. If anybody's wondering why the hell I'm ulting that. I'm trying to, because I dash, I can now get Odin Cage, so like now I have to hold dash, for example. That's the reason why. Just a little deterrent for me to not be insta-dead right there. Because I wasn't uh, I wasn't sure if we'd get enough follow-up from people if I actually do get Odin ulted. Like, I think Skipper was paying attention for it, but that might have been it. All right, so we have capped our prots. <laughs> we, have, we have capped the prots out. This item's not a... Uh, a defense item really too so we're getting it over these five items you can actually do it with just four items i did it the other game i think it wasn't technically camped but it was basically camped i had a game where i went mirrodin and relic dagger and then build fairly similar to this i don't think we had spectral like we had like spirit robe or something and we got like almost exactly prot cap yeah kind of kind of a wild roll man kind of a wild roll tanks in general it's crazy how easy it is to cap your prots and then, of course if we two we get an extra 60 potentially as well can do quite a bit of stuff. Almost got that second Sunder up. Sunder up. It hasn't been a huge Sunder game so far. Normally I've had way bigger Sunder games. This game I've just had a little too much to do overall. I, uh, I kind of want these minions in. <laughs> I'm not taking too much damage. It shouldn't really matter though. Yeah, we do have a little more EFG to work with where you could maybe push there. But we don't have boys around, so I don't think it's a good idea. Backing off doing Oni is probably smarter. Actually crazy, still, <laughs> we've gotten 36 minutes in, 30 kills, still been a part of 27, been a part of that 90%, man, that's insane. The next closest is 19. <laughs> the Ganesh impact has been wild. You know what, give me top damage while we're at it. Somehow give me that. See, if it was a real Sunder game, we'd have that top damage. Hang on, five seconds, boys. Go crazy. Go crazy with the EFG. Two seconds. Do it. Yeah, we'll word up. Loki's getting a little aggro. I think I'll maybe lurk with him if he keeps trying to be aggro and looking for a pick here. I'm just going to temporarily fall back to get some wards up, but then we can step up in the jungle. Ah, uh, perhaps I'll gank? Yeah, if the boys are down, we can maybe lurk around like a speed buff wall here. Do a little ganking. Why don't we have a Marty on this team? Can you imagine how hard Marty would go right here? Oh, they're not going to push this way. Yeah, they seem they seem pretty aware of it. I don't think... Oh. Okay, are we good? We're good. And had me spooked a little bit. Oh, he just went back in. <laughs> Ganesh is on the way. I'm going to cook. Oh, that sucks. That's fine. We don't, we don't have to commit off of it. I don't have this stuff. That sucks. Oh, no, man. Should be able to dip here. Yeah, we really need, um... I need Arthur to chill more, man. He keeps being so far up. Normally, we're just able to peel for pretty much anybody when I'm around, but as we get deeper and deeper into this game, it's not going to be that easy. That does like I was hoping for a really big, um... I'm trying to think. How did the ult go? I think I wanted to peel for Arthur with the ult, and we ended up just mostly whiffing it. It happens. It's not an easy ult. The ults have actually been really clean so far this game. Do we get in here at all? Ah! Damn. Am um, I just gonna go on? Oh, Thought he'd push right into me. Did he beads that or he just get trolled on the Loki ult? I think we're okay here. Got a really fat horrific. Loki, you gotta chill though. He has this? Uh-oh. Big Thunder? Gotta disengage. 
I just straight up, I don't think I get to go in here at all. I think we just straight up insta die to whatever ability goes on me. So they get to clean up at all? There's one. Minions are going to pour in a little bit too. Oh, that, okay. My, I have baited you, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't have Arthur here, what? Why did he not, hmm. I'm trying to hold this silence to help him. Yeah, like that. Let's see if I can split him off a little bit. Yeah, we just end up stalling a little. I don't know, man. I don't know. I honestly, I think if we just got Arthur follow-up when we had Jingwei ulted there, I think she just dies, yeah? She pretty much has to. Michelle probably gets up in time to do a little bit, but that's almost gotta just be game. That sucks, man. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, she just gets ulted again. Hunbot's ult cooldown is so low right now. That's too bad. But anyways, that does it for Ganesh in the A to Z. I guess I shouldn't be saying this yet. We gotta look at the stats. Um, yeah, I don't know. That last fight wasn't the best. But yeah, I don't know. It gets messy. It gets messy. We get that support life where it's like trying to figure out, trying to figure out what our teammates are doing, playing off of them, trying to set up. Sometimes we have fights that don't exactly go our way. I'm trying to think. The whole thing started with trying to have a chance at getting a EFG, right? I think so. Trying to trying to just hope that we get a little steal in there. But but yeah, not too shabby, man. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.